the Lord, but ah, ah, stop it with the, come on, ah, my God, why is it so, why is the audio so, so much static, such wow, it better not be slow. Okay, there we go. That sounds much better. Um, I guess opening, I guess? The file needs... Please reinstall the game if you... I can't... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, we can't see the cartoon because I'm playing on a web browser and I guess it doesn't have the... Uh, where it's getting it from doesn't have the... Oh, that's static. Fuck. Anyway, welcome to day... Oh, you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. I fucking forgot to turn on, turn Steam. Put my Steam in offline. God damn it. Oh, whatever. Deal with it. So, yeah, King's Quest VI, I played it. N not a lot, but... My, my brother actually played a lot. He was... He was quite good at figuring out the sort of puzzles in this game. Um, are you fucking... Hang up. Thank you. Okay, so fucking someone kept keeps trying to call me. Um, so, this is on a web browser. It's not, you know, downloaded. Well, I do have one downloaded, but, you know, it's not... I wasn't able to record it because uh, DOSBox wouldn't let me record this shit. Uh, you can edit DOSBox to let you record it, but King's Quest VI runs on its own version of DOSBox, so I couldn't figure that out. Tried some various programs, they didn't work. Tried all my recording softwares, they didn't work. Then I found out you can play online, and I wasted like 50 minutes doing nothing. Fuck me. Alright, let's just start playing. So the story is that you're King Alexander, I think his name is. Uh, hang on, it's a, it's, it's a bit slow when it comes to playing. Oh, here we go. Um, so you're King Alexander, this guy. Um, the game, the game looks quite good. It's like, like, 16 to 32 bit graphics, which, you know, for a DOS game, it looks, it looks damn good. Um, it's nice and colorful. Um, in all these King's Quest games, you can, you can look around. In the distance, Alexander can see the peak of... He's supposed to have a voice, but um, the text is much more bearable because you don't always hear someone talking. They're on the island, Alexander is standing on... Wait, wait, can I... Is there a way to disable... Oh, God. If there's a way to disable the voice in in uh, my version of the game, I hope it that's the case. Alexander's Royal Estate Live. It was not lost at sea. So, yeah, we can walk over, we can pick things up, so let's go pick up his ring. Because everything you, everything you find, you're obviously going to need later. Um, so, you have your, you have your, oh, you have your options here. Standard stuff. You have a save, you're, you're loading, you're about, about King's Quest 1 to 5, about King's Quest 6. Tips for King's Quest 6. Beginner walkthrough, girl in the tower theme song. Uh, can I, no, no, hang on, no, that's the... Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, it's telling me all the stories from each one. Okay, good. It ex it had exited out for me. That's good because I don't want to be trapped in that menu. Um. Oh shit. So yeah, here's your backpack. You can look at the item. Well, oh wait. You can get look at the item. Get a get a description. You can. You can. Well, I'm already wearing it. You can click on it, so yeah, all kinds of, um... You can use it somewhere, basically, stuff like that, you know. Right-clicking cycles through everything, so speech, walking, touching, seeing, or looking at. So we're gonna walk over here. Actually, there is a way to speed up the game, hang on. Go like that. Oh, fucking sakes. Oh, god damn. There we go, there we go. It's much, this is much more bearable. And now he's walking into town. Yeah, some of the weird... There's weird music and sound effects. The music is actually... When there is music, it is kind of good. I've I've heard some of it, and it's, 
It's good. Like the intro music, like the opening logo music. That was fantastic. And considering this is all DOS, it's great. It just looks great. <laughs> oh, yeah. here we go. If you try entering the castle, they'll obviously tell you to get the fuck lost. Halt. No strangers may enter the castle of the crown. I believe that there is supposed to be voice acting, but I guess in this version there isn't. This is the land of the green... Is the main island, foolish boy. Alright, the princess is not receiving particularly not from strangers. Yeah, so your goal is to find a way to get past these guards so you can go see her. Like, what, what they should do... Oh, hang on. Can I go? Okay, good. And I can go over here. What they should do is allow you to say to them, Hey, if you don't believe me, why don't you go ask, ask the princess herself? I'm sure she'll be able to recognize me if you have nothing to be afraid of. Like, th that's all you have to... That's... I say it. If you say, that, you know... And be like, if she doesn't recognize me, I'll let you give me a good hit across the face. You know, something something, something along those lines. It's like, oh, fair enough. If, he, if she doesn't rescue not, we're going to give you a good beat it down. Oh, yeah, so that area over there is not till later. You use a bug to see in there, and you use some kind of... Yes, I did say a bug. And you use some kind of um, warp way to walk through the wall. Is a, there are weird things in the King's Quest series. How far are we into this, anyway? Seven minutes. So we got lots of time. Oh, that area right there. Uh, there's a different ending, or there's a different way to get in the castle, where if you keep these closed when... Uh, till you get back here, if you keep this uh, set of clothes, there'll actually be a lineup of women waiting to get into the castle. And it, you can change into the clothes and... Go in, basically. Just walk straight through the front door. Yeah. This game is for little kids. I mean, I did have trouble when I, playing this when I was younger, but... um, It is quite easy now, I think. You just you just gotta have patience. Find out what each item does and when, when to use it. Seraphine. Taking old lamps and giving them new lamps? Well, there's always a chance that I'll find a genie. If I had a genie, I'd be richer than a king. Besides, there's always... Yeah. Yeah, so you gotta find... Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Okay, so... Let's go into the pawn shop. Wait. <laughs> no, no, don't talk to it. Let's go into the pawn shop. In there. Alex, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. What are you doing? Go into the pawn shop! Go in! Where are you going? Yes! Go in it! Oh my god! You think double clicking the door would like just just get in there? You think? Yeah, I know. Old lamps for new. Okay, let's try to go in the bookstore then. 
Maybe we have to. Go. You gotta be kidding me. Walk in! I didn't have this much trouble when I was playing it on my desktop version. Oh my fuck. Walk in! This is embarrassing. Okay. Okay, now walk in the store. No! No, you fucking piece of shit! Wait, wait a minute. Don't tell me. Are you fucking kidding me? You have to... Oh my god. And that's the librarian. Let's go talk to this guy. He looks friendly. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. I've seen the other King's Quest games. Yes, I did see JonTron's King Quest V review. And they're weird. They're fucking weird. This game got less weird. This game's probably... I played King's Quest Eight, I think it the last one was, before they a new series of King's Quest games took pl place uh, late last year and this year. And I think out of all of them, or at least the old ones, this is the most uh, serious out of all of them. Well, except for the very early ones where there's barely anything to look at. I played King's Quest IV. <laughs> Funny thing is, when I was... I accidentally ran King's Quest IV instead of VI. Misclicking, of course. And it asked me, Oh, what? Oh, we need to make sure you're running a legitimate copy of the game. What page... What what is the third word on the third paragraph on page one and, and stuff like that? And you just type it in and press enter and it's like, that's it. Like, that's the worst. That is such a cute way to protect your software from pirating. Because to say something's in the instruction manual, you can just Google it. And I found it like right away too. Like, like there's anti-pirating methods, like you know, making it hard to play the harder to play the game, or making it impossible at a certain point to beat it, so you can't beat it. You know, stuff like that. But something as simple as what is what is the word on this page? Now you're just asking your software to get pirated. Oh yeah, one thing that I highly respect about this game, it was actually developed by two uh, females. It breaks, the, for me, that breaks the sexist barrier, for me at least. We're gonna talk to this black guy. So yeah, this is a, this game does take quite a while, because it is, you know, your point and click game. With, with some actions, elements in it. Yes, the painter. Um. Yeah, so there is some items, but um, one item you're gonna need from him in particular is a uh. Is a uh, magic map he has. I don't know how to um trigger it to talk to him about it. I think you have to find it out from someone. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I think I think also I missed a book I'm supposed to grab in the library. 
We're only going to be playing for half an hour, so... Like, there's no point of doing absolutely everything, but I'm just going to try to... I'm going to try to make some progress in this. Oh, oh look, the... Oh, look, the mysterious man in the figure, hooded figure. Oh, oh, I get it. Come on, grab a book. What are you doing? <laughs> Alexander is too involved in his journey to read the journeys of others. Children's books? What's this? Okay. So he gave us this book. Don't you think that's a little suspicious? Let's look, let's read it. Okay, read it. I believe this book provides major hints. That's how I read a book too. The two do claims raised to the degree of force. What the fuck? I know, man. I know. So, I guess we can interact with the book and... Okay, so... Yeah, it's because he wants to get rid of it because it's such a boring-ass fucking book. Oh, that's cool. If, we, if you needed to have an item for later, you can have it equipped. So, so you can easily switch to it. <laughs> Oh, you're a big cheerier, and you know exactly what you can do. Alexander can't do anything with that part of the village from here. All right, let's walk over here. Right, there we go. There we go. There's a little lag, but not that bad. Um. Oh, here we go. I am not sure if this part has any significance. like a pretty much Cinderella pretty much oh this mother fucking asshole fuck that guy oh shit oh oh wait wait hang on no, 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 hang on, hang on. Shit, my game's, my game's lagging badly. I can't do anything. Save. This fucking guy right here is the biggest dickhead I've ever met in gaming. Stranger, stranger. Talk to him, don't you? Okay, you see that glowing eye? Watch. Died. Alexander is dead. This guy. Dead. You died. Oh, and this this part's actually important because... Uh, maybe one day when I let's play this, I'll show you it.
Alexander couldn't handle those currents. That boy must have been a strong swimmer. No, he wasn't. There, I don't remember exactly, but the guy, you'll see, every so often you'll see this guy with a glowing eye. And he's just, he's trying to get Alex killed, pretty much. He's, he's a downright motherfucker. Oh yeah, we can go in here, I think. Yeah, we can. You see? You see? He is not human. He is an evil being. I don't know why he's trying to get you killed, you specifically killed, but... Oh yeah, that that's actually a very important item later in the game. Yeah, how far how far are we in? I got I got actually got to check. Oh shit! Sorry about that. That was a huge mistake. <laughs> Oh yeah, random fact, did you know that when this game came out on floppy disks, it took nine floppy disks just to install. Nine floppy disks. I am dead fucking serious. Like, I remember it's very, I remember it very well. We were, we had the, you know, somehow my brother obtained King's Quest 6. I don't know if freaking, uh, the person who gave us the computer had it, had it with her or or whatever, but, but I remember it like had all, it had, it's like, oh, it has all the installation discs, nine floppy discs, are you fucking kidding me? I'm always late to the party when it comes to these things. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was the time where we were also playing another game on DOS. We only had this is no 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 hang on we had three games on DOS. Um, well this was one of them. The other two are on this list, and I'll show you later. Um... Yeah, because, you know, in this story there's no TV or anything. Please. Just walk out there. What are you doing? Oh no. Okay, okay. I thought the game froze. Go over there. We're gonna wait five million years for Alex to walk all the way over there. Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on. I got an idea how to speed up the game. We'll drive the speed right up. Rank it. Oh, whoops. There we go. Now he's fucking moving. That's how you move. There we go. 
now look at him, he's fucking moving like a champ. I think what I have to do is show the shop owner my ring and he'll present me with the magic map. I'm not sure. Oh shit. No, leave me alone. Yeah, no soliciting. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Very well, very well. Yes, yes. That's what I was talking about. Okay, that is why you need the ring. Still is only gold. All right, we got it. Now let's. Seconds later, in the castle. And here's something... I don't know, actually. I don't remember. Oh, what the fuck? What's with these, uh... Okay, I get it's supposed to be in, like, a uh, visual novel, sort of, but what the fuck? Oh, it's... Is that the guy with the... Hang on. Is that the guy with the... No, it could have been the guy with the glowing eyes. That's impossible. What is this magic? To map you in. Oh shit. Are we out of time yet? We might be out of time. Yeah, we're pretty much out of time. You know, I you know, before I go, I'll show you the power of this magic map. Oh, and the lamp, the uh, lamp trader is gone. He travels around. He's well, somewhere else. I oh, that pigeon. That pigeon was him too. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't show, but it was him. Trust me. No, no, the map. Hey. 
And now you can teleport to wherever you please. We're on Isle of the Crown. Here's Isle of the Sacred Mountain, Isle of the Wonder, and Isle of the Beast. I believe that this is the island where you can't explore till the end of the game, where you solve a bunch of puzzles. Or near the end of the game, anyway. Yes, it is. Here's here's a feather, or er, and that's actually for an important creature later. All this stuff I'm gathering is actually for an important. Uh, um, puzzle late, late, later, uh, involving, uh, you won't be able to see, but involving, uh, four, uh, creatures, one that can only see, one that can only smell, and so on. The seeing one actually stumped me and my brother for a long fucking time. Until we realized that there's a potion invisibility. Ignorance kills, wisdom elevates. I actually don't I actually forget now how to do that um, so we're gonna we're gonna teleport to the aisle where the uh, those creatures are because they're actually quite hilarious Isle of the Beast you can't there are multiple ways to die in this game but the main but this game isn't about dying, it's about solving puzzles and figuring shit out. No, this is not the one with the creatures in it, damn it. Oops, I accidentally went in the volume slider again. Play. So, I think it, it appears it's the aisle to the left. And then this island you can explore and grab shit. Alright, so let's go there. I'm not, I think there's... No, I don't think there's a fifth secret aisle. There might be. No idea, though. And is this the one? Yep! This is it! This is the aisle with those things in them. If they know you're human, they'll kill you. They'll throw you in the ocean. Five fierce, five fierce guards of the isle we be. Watch for four men, said he, with ears, tongues, hands, and eyes. It can disguise. If it, if man it be, then man it dies. I don't know how they know you get here, but you have to find five items. Yeah, you have to find five items that will correspond to him him uh, letting you pass. And nothing more. And only in that jingle is of course if you passed it. Oh, I think you need that Yeah, they have, um, things blocking their senses. I don't know how they see if you're not, you know... Uh, I have nothing for here, so we're gonna, we're gonna die. My ears can hear nothing so clear as the man, sound of a man standing here. A man, a man, so say, say our ears, we shall send him to his beer, or beer, whatever you pronounce it. Now they're gonna throw you in the sea, and that's pretty much game over. So, so most likely, oh god, that face. And I'm dead again. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. drag them under. Yeah, it's same game over screen every time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. 
hopefully, hopefully the next game I play won't be such a pain in the ass to record. And like I said, I'll see you tomorrow and have a good